YouTube, what is going on? My name is Sweat, and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking all 16 legends in Season 8 of Apex Legends by tier, okay? So that means, obviously, we're going to have the D tier list of legends C, B, A, and S. There is no F tier legends. If there was an F tier legend, guys, then they wouldn't be playable. Like, you pick the legend, and it doesn't even move around the map. That's what I consider F tier. So there is no F tier in this video. Let's just get that started. And secondly, this isn't going to be like any normal tier list video that you've seen from your favorite YouTuber or content creator. This is going to be more of a light-hearted video, okay? We're going to have a lot of funny clips in here. We're going to have me talking over parts of the video, uh, explaining my reasoning for having certain legends at certain tiers. And also, guys, if you disagree with any of my opinions, as always, you are wrong. Let's just get that right now. I'm just playing, guys. You're obviously not wrong. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. But don't be going down in the comments and be like, Sweatband, you put Rampart at Z tier. You're such a jerk. I'm never watching your videos again. Guys, not that serious. It's really not that serious. Just comment down below if you have any disagreements. And we'll settle it in the octagon. I mean, in the boxing ring, of course. If we ever get back on Olympus and get off this terrible uh, King's Canyon ring flare mode that nobody likes, I don't think. Comment down below if you like that mode because I don't think anybody does. But without further ado, guys, let's hop into the tier list video. Starting out with D tier. All right, guys, so the first legend on the D tier list of legends here is going to be Loba. And I know you're going to be like, what? Unlimited ammo from Loba's black market? How can you possibly have her down at the bottom? She's one of my favorite characters and she's the thickest in the game. No, okay. You know why she's the worst in the game right now? It's not because of her black market. Her black market is very, very viable. It's a very good addition to the character and i love the black market i love that you can grab two items out of it whether it be a backpack a weapon unlimited ammo by the way and a grenade or something whatever you want two items and unlimited ammo come on how can you beat that well the problem doesn't lie with the black market the problem is with the bracelet it's absolutely broken and like i said before i will never put a, ter a character in f tier as long as they can actually move around the map but Loba's ability, her bracelet doesn't even work, guys. You're going to watch this clip right here, and there should be no arguments as to why she's down this low. If they fix her bracelet, she instantly gets bumped up way higher, maybe into B, maybe into even A if we're getting crazy. But right now, her abilities don't even work. So take a look at this clip and see if you disagree with me. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Wait, what? What? No, this shit's garbage. Yeah, worst player in the game. Nah, she's the worst character. It's not even close. The hell was that? All right, everybody. So the second legend that is going to fall into the D list, tier list, whatever list category of legends here is going to be Fuse. And this legend is super fun to play. Fuse is the newest legend added to season eight of Apex Legends, the brand new legend that nobody's talking about and you know why nobody's talking about him is because his abilities are lackluster to say the least okay his ultimate ability is pretty good it could probably do like a hundred damage as long as you like stay near it if you stay in the fire it could probably do like a hundred damage i'm guessing it could obviously kill you if you just stand directly in the fire for the whole duration of the ultimate but nobody's that stupid nobody's gonna do that unless their controller is like not even on or their mouse and key is not even plugged in, then they're not even moving. That's the only way you're really gonna get a kill with this, unless the enemy's already low. And don't even get me started on the cluster strike. Let, let's get something straight. When you're playing Fuse, the most fun thing to do is shoot grenades out of your arm. That's fun. That's fun. But it's not, it's not game breaking. It's not gonna win you gunfights by shooting something out of your arm rather than just throwing it. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. Like I said, this character is super fun to play. I definitely enjoyed playing him while I was testing him out for this video, but he's nothing crazy. And the cluster strike tactical ability does not do that much damage. I don't know if I've ever gotten more than like 40 damage with the thing, unless people are like all stuck in a room and then you can get like damage on all three people at once, but it's not great. His abilities aren't great, but he is a super fun character to play, so I'll give him that at least. Oh, 
Oh shit! Built different. Oh god damn! Did he just do that? Yes, he did. All right, next up, we're going to be moving on to C tier, actually. And Rampart has moved her way up, okay? And there's many reasons that I moved her up into C tier. I had her at D to start out, but I thought... I was just thinking of how many times in rank that I ran into Ramparts, and they were just set up behind the shields with... They don't even have to have the turrets, okay? The ultimate ability really isn't great, okay? Not a lot of people really use the, uh, the Sheila, to be honest with you. They more or less just use the amped cover to take shots at you. And oh my god, if you get hit with a Sentinel, forget about it. It's like 140 damage. If you're getting lasered by a Spitfire, a Spitfire behind an amped cover. It never ends. It never ends and you're doing a ton of damage. Also, the amp cover can block off doors pretty dang well, okay? It's very hard to get into buildings while amp cover is on the doors. And amp cover takes a lot of shots to destroy as long as you can get it fully set up. Obviously, if you don't get it set up, it gets destroyed in about one to two shots. It's very, it's very light unless you get it fully set up. But Rampart is a fun character to play. And if you can get that amp cover up and take shots from behind it, and just make sure to cover your back even. Oh my, she's nasty. She's nasty, but she doesn't really compare to the other legends uh, as as far as team abilities or mobility wise. She's not really great. So that's why I have her at C tier, but she's moving up, okay? She could keep going. Never know, we could see her in B or A come next season. All right, guys, I'm taking a little bit too long with these explanations. So we gotta, we gotta hurry it up or this video is gonna be like 40 minutes long. We don't want that, okay? So next up on it, the C tier list of legends, it's gonna be Crypto. And the reason that I have Crypto in the C tier is not because of his abilities that they're bad or anything. I like how he can res with his drone. I like how he can scout out with the drone. EMP is phenomenal if you know how to use him. That's why he's in the middle of the tier because not a lot of people know how to use this legend correctly. Uh, a lot of people just pull out their drone and they're sitting in there like in a building controlling it. But they're not fighting with you. Okay, they're not even fighting with you. A lot of cryptos pull out their drone. They don't check how many squads are in the area. They don't even really do a lot of recon. And when they are doing the recon, they're just sitting in the drone. I think crypto could use a buff of some sort in the future. But as of right now, he's going to stick at the C tier. All right, next up in C tier, we have Watson. And she falls into a very similar category to crypto in the fact that not a lot of people actually know how to play this legend correctly, which is part of her downfall, okay? She is making a a little bit of a return in ranked which is good to see but i don't know how long that will last like on olympus when we move to olympus it's a little bit more open than king's canyon so i feel like watson will again be irrelevant unless they make a buff for her obviously but as for her fences go they're they're kind of mediocre you could just kind of walk through them if the watson really doesn't know how to play uh, the legend and only puts one fence down to block off doors and that's what a lot of watson mains do not a lot of Watson mains, but a lot of Watson players who pick her. They'll just try to block off the doors and buildings. They won't really put the gen down when airstrikes are coming down. They really forget about what her abilities are supposed to be used for. And that's why I feel like she belongs in C tier right now. Now, the last legend in C tier is going to be Mirage. And I actually really like playing Mirage. Mirage is a good character. And if you know how to use his decoys correctly, he can be deadly and he could really fool you. Uh... Me and Control were playing the other day, a uh, ranked friend of mine, and we got so badly bamboozled from a guy that was behind a bin. It was ridiculous, and he actually almost killed both of us. It was a really nasty play, so playing Mirage can lead to some really, really good plays if you know how to use this legend correctly. The problem with Mirage, in my opinion, is that the decoys most of the time aren't really that believable okay you can most of the time just tell if it's a decoy or not but there are certain occasions i will say that it's very very tough to tell and i believe his ultimate ability is pretty good and can really juke out some enemies especially if you stay close to your decoys in your ultimate ability once you pop it if you're sitting around your decoys in a little circular ring it's very hard to tell which one is the actual mirage but Compared to other legends, such as like Pathfinder and Octane, Bloodhound, and 
people that I'm going to have in the higher tiers really just doesn't compare. So that's why I have him in the C tier list of legends. But don't get me wrong, Mirage is still a classy guy. All right, on to the B tier. Finally, we have Lifeline starting it off. And Lifeline is a very, very good character, especially if the lifeline or the person playing the lifeline stays very very close to your teammates and that's key with lifelines and i notice a lot of lifelines going off on their own and i am a terrible lifeline by the way uh myself i do not really play her that well only because i don't i don't really stick right next to my teammates at all times i like to get different angles and such maybe that's why i'm a bad lifeline main but that doesn't ruin the character totally for me i can recognize uh real okay i know when a character is pretty good and lifeline is a pretty good character as long as you stick right on the hip of your teammates as for her ultimate ability that's where it really kills it for this character if she had a good ultimate ability she would be nasty remember in the uh what was it called the dummies big day when they had that ultimate or unlimited heal like right when you hit a button on your wrist or something it would heal the whole team or anybody anybody in the area that would be a disgusting ultimate for lifeline and i think they should definitely uh take a look at giving her a new ultimate ability because right now the care package is just kind of lackluster by the time it drops most of the time you already have purple or blue armor already so it's not really worth it and sometimes it doesn't even give you purple armor so uh that's why she falls into the beats here now next up we got caustic and a couple days ago as you know the caustic town takeover uh got introduced and caustic actually got a nerf with the town takeover why would you why would you name a town takeover over somebody and then nerf them that i really don't understand but i'm not really too worried about it because caustics were super super annoying in buildings or anywhere that you could get a trap down and a lot of the times when you're about to kill a caustic they just throw their ultimate ability and it just kind of ruins you okay especially if there's a third party around or their other teammates around you're absolutely screwed but now after the nerf he's not really that great that's why he's in b tier his gas does does this like a little bit less damage than it used to it really doesn't slow you down as much and the ultimate both of his abilities got a uh pretty significant nerf but he's still a good legend to lock down buildings he can high bond his traps and do whatnot but he's not quite as good as he was so that's why he's in b tier so next up in beats here we have bangalore and damn that heirloom is looking pretty clean in my opinion that heirloom knife that she has is looking pretty clean but aside from that aside from the heirloom uh her smokes are great her ultimate ability is great this is a well balanced legend i like her speed boost when she's getting shot at like i said the ultimate does a good deal of damage and the fact that it comes down faster now than in past seasons is a great addition to bangalore also her smokes can be used for so many things i can't even go over it because we'll be here all day uh definitely a well-balanced legend in my opinion she's still middle of the tier though i don't know she she's good but she's not great so that's why i don't have her in the a tier list of legends but she could easily be there she could easily be swapped from a to b or b to a whatever your preference i could have easily put her in a and i wouldn't have second guessed it at all uh but just in my opinion i don't play her that much i don't have that much experience with bangalore but there is a lot of good bangalore mains out there and i have no complaints about this legend so she's just really middle of the tier for me that's why she's in b tier all right so the last legend that's gonna round off b tier is going to be revenant and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i do not like revenant okay i do not like people who play revenant just to have revenant's ultimate ability if you play revenant before that if you played revenant for a long time if you're a revenant main if you're like grinding for revenant kills i don't care at all that's hats off to you that's not you're not who i'm talking about in this video i'm talking about people who play ranked and are gonna rev octane jump pad third party on you that is super annoying and i feel like the character takes little to no skill to play you get basically a life and a half to try to kill one team off of a third party that's why i don't like revenant but i can't deny that his ability his ultimate ability is super overpowered if we combine it with octane okay and also even if you're just pushing alone you get a life and a half to kill one team it's just really weird and there's no unlimited totem range or whatever so that's why i have rev in the b tier but i would not recommend playing revenant i do not 
I don't know. I played it a couple times on this channel just to really show you guys how broken it was, but that is not the combination that I'll be running in ranked ever or even in pubs. I'd kind of feel more slimy doing it in pubs. I'm sorry if you're a Revenant main. This really doesn't apply to you unless you just started playing Revenant with the Octane update. So, yeah, he's falling into beats here, but I don't like him. I'm not a fan. All right, guys, I actually lied. There is one more legend in beats here, and I made a late change, and a lot of you guys are going to be like, why, Sway? You play him all the time. He's your favorite legend, and it's going to be Pathfinder. And I was just debating whether he would be an A tier or B tier with a low profile buff that he just got. He just got low profile taken off uh, with the Cossack Town Takeover event, but he's just not... It didn't do as much for me as I thought it was going to do, okay? He's still a really good legend, still viable to play, but his ultimate ability compared to a legend like Horizons just doesn't even compare. Horizon can just throw her lift, get you on height almost instantly. You have Pathfinder Zipline that when you're taking the Zipline, it's basically an easy laser most of the time, but it can get you height, so that is why he's in B tier. As for his grapple, his grapple could still receive a a buff in my opinion it's not great it it waits until you're all the way down a hill to reset if you go the maximum distance let's say you go the maximum distance and the reset is 30 seconds it waits till you're all the way down the hill and done sliding to reset the ability so i don't know he's just he's my favorite character but i still can't put him above b i'm sorry i'm sorry guys all right, so starting off the uh, A tier division here, we have Wraith. And Wraith is a very solid character. And even with the hitbox nerf that she recently received and everybody's complaining, like losing their minds over it, she's still a good legend with her abilities. Her phase is still really good, although it takes a while to actually perform the ability. And her ultimate ability can really save you and help you rotate very effectively. I don't have really too many negative things to say about Wraith other than, like I said, her hitbox was nerfed and her phase ability takes a little bit longer than you would like to uh, actually activate the ability, but she's still a very solid legend, very good for ranked, very good for pubs. I would definitely put her in A tier. Next up, we have Bloodhound in A tier, and I believe Bloodhound is definitely one of the best characters in the game. The scans paired with the ultimate ability, the scans are just so crucial. It's like aimbot wall hacks not not aimbot it's like wall hacks okay you just pop the scan and you can see through buildings it's ridiculous it's you can see enemies for about three to five seconds i believe where they're moving where they're running to it's insane along with the ultimate ability that bloodhound has where uh they can run for like 35 seconds like ultra speed it's ridiculous you can see enemies in red I love the character overall. I don't think it I don't think they need any changes to Bloodhound. Uh now or in the near future, I think stay how it is. Okay. A tier. I don't have much to say about it. I'm actually I'm kind of speechless. I really I really don't know what to say more about Bloodhound. It's it's just a it's great legend. Great legend. Great legend overall, man. All right, next up in A tier, we got the Gibmeister. Gibby. He's insane okay his bubble is better than lifelines res in my opinion okay his bubble is insane it's very useful for rank very useful for pubs he's got the damn arm shield that you can shoot for days with the spitfire and you never break through the thing you can hit it with a kraber for 145 and it doesn't do any bleed through damage gibby's insane guys he's a very good character very good legend his dome helps your team out a lot whether it's to take cover or whether it's to do a multitude of things that is why I have Gibby in the A tier list of legends. And also, his ultimate ability does a ton of damage. It's very good for getting teams off of high ground, off of locations that you need to rotate to, or even just give you cover when you need to rotate. So Gibby, great character, great legend. No complaints. Now, the final legend we got in A tier today is going to be Octane. And I have been having the most fun I might have ever had in Apex Legends with this legend in season eight okay and we're not talking about combining them with revenant forget that forget that on his own octane is super fun super effective his jump pad has three different launch angles you can take and you can go halfway across the map with this thing you can easily get high ground with the jump pad his stim ability is awesome you can go like 30 percent more speed i believe 
when you're running when you take the stim and also you regain health over time with octane as long as you're not taking damage from zone come on man how can you not like octane he's a speed demon we all like a nice fast-paced apex legends game octane is perfect for this that's why he's in the a tier and this is gonna do it right here the only s tier legend in season eight is going to be horizon and if you've faced a good horizon, you know that when they throw that lift and they go in the air with that Spitfire or that Hemlock or whatever gun they're using, they are lasering you. And it, there's nothing you can do about it because you can strafe up at the top of that lift over and over and over. It is so hard to hit horizons and they just have the cleanest shots on you on the ground. Really nothing you can do. Even if you're strafing back and forth, they... They still have the better shot, okay? Horizon is, in my opinion, a little bit broken, okay? I won't say she needs a nerf, but she's her abilities are insane, especially when she throws her ultimate ability from the top of the lift onto like a Gibby bubble or just in the open field, and she sucks you into that little confined space with your whole team and pelleting you, Arcstar, 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 Thermite, you're done. You're dead. There's nothing you can do about it. And that's why I feel like this legend's a little overpowered. But we're not going to say she needs a nerf because that's going to make a lot of people mad. And I don't really care if she doesn't get nerfed or not. I'm just saying she's freaking amazing. She's the only legend that I believe deserves to be S tier this season. And I really think that a lot of people could play Horizon that couldn't play other legends. Okay, I think Horizon is a very a character that's very has easy playability a lot of players in the player base of apex legends aren't the best i will say but a lot of them could easily dominate with horizon just because of how good her abilities are so that's going to wrap it up for this season eight apex legends tier list i hope you guys did enjoy and like i said if you disagree with any of my opinions screw you nah, i'm just kidding go down in the comments let me know your opinions and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day if you're not already subscribed to the channel make sure to do so and Drop a thumbs up. Th 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 yeah, drop a thumbs up as always. See ya.